In this video, we're going to show you how to align and focus the telescope and also give some tips for observing. To align the 16-inch telescope, you will need to point it to one of the stars in its object library. Of course, different stars are visible at different times of year, so if you're not particularly familiar with the constellations, you might want to use an app or a computer program to determine which of the bright stars are overhead at the, at the time. You could also use the current sidereal time to determine what stars are visible. Run a web search for what the sidereal time is, then check the list for stars that have right ascension within four hours of the current time. They also need to have a declination greater than zero, and the higher the better. Once you've chosen a star, bring up its coordinates on the handbox by pressing star followed by its ID number from the library sheet. Do not press go to. The telescope doesn't know where it's pointing yet, so any attempt to automatically point it will fail completely. Use the north, south, east, west buttons on the handbox to point the telescope roughly in the direction of the star and then sight along the tube for course alignment. Keep moving the telescope until you can see the star in the finder scope. You can change the slewing speed using the buttons along the left side of the handbox. Now move the telescope slowly so the star is in the crosshairs of the finder scope. This initial pointing step is pretty tricky and just takes some practice. Hopefully now the star will be in the main eyepiece of the telescope. If you can't see the star through the main eyepiece, it means the finder scope has been knocked out of alignment. Now you're going to have to move the telescope looking through the eyepiece, the main eyepiece, until you find the star. And then you'll use the thumb screws on the finder scope to realign it. Once the star is centered, Press enter on the handbox for two seconds to sync the coordinates. Now the telescope knows where it's pointing and you can use the handbox to move to other targets. To move the dome, you can use the push buttons on the column by the roof of the warm room. The light switches for the red and white lights are also found there. So now that you're done observing, this next video will show you how to safely shut down the telescope and leave it ready for the next observers.